after the conceptual video on uh, junction uh, field effect transfers, biasing models and amplifier circuits and the conceptual video on MOSFETs is uploaded on similar lines. Uh, note that MOSFET uh, gate is insulated from the channel so it is called insulated gate FET like junction field effect transfers D MOSFET is a normally on device while E MOSFET is normally off device. Also note that IDSS was the maximum possible drain current in junction FETs while MOSFETs this current can exceed this value. Uh, D MOSFETs find applications as RF amplifiers while E MOSFETs find applications in digital circuits. D MOSFETs did not find widespread use but played a role in evolution of MOSFETs. This video discusses the popular bias circuit such as potential divider and drain feedback bias. The small signal model for MOSFET is similar to junction field effect transistors. A complete MOSFET amplifier circuit are considered for illustration giving required mathematical equations like uh, junction Field effect transfer, the required performance parameters are voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. Here common source amplifier is the most common in use like common emitter amplifier in BJT. Towards the end important uh, MOSFET relations are given based on the MOSFET uh, characteristics. So we start uh, uh, with the video on uh, MOSFET uh, biasing model and amplifier circuits. Uh, uh, we have already uh, told about uh, differs from uh, uh, junction facts with insulated gate uh, uh, FET and uh, basically we have two types of MOSFET which is depletion mode and other is enhancement mode. Depletion mode finds application in front end of uh, RF amplifiers. Enhancement mode is used in most in switching circuits. D MOSFET is normally an on device. That means IG flaws when VGS is zero. And IDSS can exceed in MOSFETs. N channel with the insulated gate on left and P region on the right hand side. This is the construction. Uh, details of the uh, MOSFETs here. Uh, this is N channel and uh, P region is doped into this N channel and there is a gate which is insulated through SiO2 layer. Here uh, this is uh, gate to source is negatively biased while in this case it is positively biased. VGS is positive. So for VGS negative the device uh, works as a depletion mode MOSFET while for uh, the case of uh, enhancement mode it, the VGS is positive. So it is working in enhancement mode. Uh, this is the corresponding drain characteristic here. Uh, the difference here you would notice uh, in this case is the drain curves are uh, drawn for VGS negative as well as for VGS positive. So we notice here that for VGS of 0 volts the current maximum current is IDSS but if gate voltage is more than uh, the value of uh, VGS0, uh, the corresponding drain current is higher than the IDSS current. Uh, this is the transconductance characteristics for the uh, depletion mode uh, of MOSFET, uh, where uh, this is ID versus VGS characteristics. The transconductance uh, both uh, for VGS negative value and for VGS positive. So this 
while VGS negative region is called the depression mode, while the, on the right hand side this region is said to be the enhancement mode uh, of operation of the uh, MOSFET. Now we see about uh, the MOSFETs, uh, uh, the MOSFETs characteristics as uh, both ohmic region, current source and the cutoff region. All three regions are present in this characteristic. And drain characteristics are the flat situation region. Uh, we observe here the drain characteristics very flat, that means so it's a very high resistance, source to drain resistance, it's nearly infinite. Uh, when used as amplifier, Q is set at uh, VGS is equal to 0 for depletion MOSFETs. And D MOSFETs uh, really help in evolution of E MOSFETs, although they're uh, Effective use by itself is very limited, but uh, they were helpful in the evolution of the e MOSFETs. Now this is the uh, arrangement for the e MOSFET. Something very important uh, is that on normally it's a normally off device. That means if VGS is zero, the device is off. And finds use in digital electronics also as a RF amplifier. Now this is the arrangement here, what the difference we find here, this is N, N region and the P region is covering entire the region so there is no channel here and channel across from this end to the this end. Again there is a SiO2 layer, uh, this, uh, this is uh, the biased uh, MOSFET with VGS uh, to be positive, this is a drain resistance and this is VDD. Now if you notice here this is a drain curve, from the drain curve that uh, uh, this is for only positive values of the gate to source voltage and uh, VGS threshold that means if the voltage is below VGS threshold there is no current flowing in the circuit and so uh, indicated here for VGS of 3 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts and uh, this is the transconductance characteristics we notice here this ID versus VGS the, on the ID versus VGS the uh, ID on and VGS on given from the data sheet so you can uh, determine the RDS on the on resistance of the device now, now we see uh, the symbols uh, uh, for this the N channel E MOSFET. Here we notice here this channel is broken since the channel is not formed. It is only formed when the uh, gate to source voltage is applied which is more than the threshold voltage. Here again this is for the N type and this is for the P type of E MOSFET. And uh, this is a new symbol now which is prevalent here. Uh, this is for uh, both E or D type. It's a new symbol, a simple symbol. This is the drain source and the gate. And here the substrate, this is another uh, symbol with the substrate showing. Mostly substrate is connected internally to the source. And uh, this is the symbol for N channel E MOSFET only. This only E MOSFET. And this is the symbol with the split uh, channel here. And here substrate is shown not connected to the source. Now uh, this part gives here uh, the arrangement for MOSFET biasing. Two common up bias types are considered here. One is the voltage divided bias. As usual, the same type arrangement which has been used with the BJTs. Here we notice here that uh, VGS is VG because uh, here source is at a ground potential. So VG is equal to VGS and we can find VG that is R2 over R1 plus R2 into VDD. And, uh, we can, the value of current could be found ID is K times VGS minus VGS threshold whole squared 
and the value of k could be determined from the values known like id on and vgs on and vgs threshold these values are given in the data sheet so you can find the value of k so you can uh, determine the value of id and uh, vds so this is the most uh, common type of circuit which is available uh, for the MOSFET uh, biasing now this is drain feedback biasing this is also quite common commonly used uh, bias arrangement uh, this uh, uh, this is the uh, drain resistance and the R U is the feedback R G is the resistance from the drain to gate it's a very high resistance and negligible current flowing through R G so whenever say ID is increasing there will be ID RD drop here due to this drop the VDS will decrease and VDS decreasing will decrease VGS and and this will correspondingly decrease the ID so that means uh, self-correcting alignment takes care of uh, uh, the changes in the uh, uh, the parameters of the FET here VDS is VDD minus RDRD and R, uh, RD, IDRD and RD is given by VDD minus VDS on upon ID on these are the values here uh, you can determine VDS uh, VD minus VS and the value for ID is given by K VGS minus VGS threshold whole squared and K is determined from the known values of ID on and uh, VGS on. Now this uh, sheet indicates the, the small signal uh, uh, model for MOSFET. Uh, device behavior uh, can be obtained from the characteristics and model is derived from the transfer and drain characteristics of the device. What we observed here, gate to source voltage is open circuit here. We have in the case of junction fed we are taking a high resistance here this is like an open circuit so no gate current flows and uh, drain current is represented by gm vgs as usual with uh, junction feds and rd is the drain resistance gm and rd are uh, inherent parameters of the device and uh, you can determine the value for gm uh, by differentiating the value for ID, this 2K VGS minus VGS threshold. Another way to represent GMS, GMS 2K ID over this other way. In the VGS and VS, VGS threshold are not known, you can determine the value uh, for uh, uh, GM using this relation here. So this uh, a small signal model is similar to what uh, existed with the uh, normal junction fret uh, FETs, junction FETs. Now, uh, this uh, sheet considers here the uh, MOSFET amplifiers. Uh, MOSFET amplifiers here, uh, as in the case of uh, VJT amplifiers, uh, there are three configurations uh, of uh, MOSFET amplifiers here. Uh, like common source, common gate, and common drain. Uh, like common source amplifier is most popular here. D MOSFETs and E MOSFETs amplifiers are considered here. The first case is for D MOSFET depletion type MOSFET amplifier, and the second case is for enhancement uh, type of MOSFET amplifier. Uh, normally, uh, this uh, this normal LAN device. Normally on device, this depletion MOSFET is an on device, gate bias is used here. This RG is for uh, biasing, this is a gate bias. And ID is given by IDSS1 minus VGS over VGS of like FETs. So you can determine the value for ID. VDS can be determined from VD minus VS. And GM can be determined from ID GM01 minus VGS over VGS of. Now, uh, once we know uh, GM, we can determine the voltage gain of the amplifier, that is GMRD, VV is VGMRD, and ZN is RG, the input resistance here, and Z out is the RD.
the drain resistance. Uh, this is the eMOSFET amplifier circuit shown here and this eMOSFET amplifier circuit uh, has the potential divider type of uh, bias arrangement and uh, uh, this device is normally an off device and uh, using the voltage divided bias so VGS is VG here since the source is grounded VGS could be R2 or R1 plus R2 you can determine the value of ID can be determined and the value of K is known through this relation GM is known through this relation and uh, you can determine the voltage gain and the input uh, impedance and the output impedance for this amplifier the procedure is quite simple to what was uh, there in the uh, case of uh, uh, junction FETs uh, it is observed that normally the gain of uh, these amplifiers is pretty low as compared to VJTs and even for uh, FETs. Now uh, we come to something uh, which is very important uh, is the uh, basically these uh, relations, important relations, relationships uh, uh, for the uh, MOSFET uh, amplifier uh, this relation is uh, this we are showing here for the n channel elements enhancement type of device uh, what is being indicated here is uh, it is observed that a good number of uh, gate problems are based on the characteristics of the MOSFETs so here uh, most of the relations needed have been consolidated and put in in one sheet here and uh, these relations are useful in uh, solving the uh, gate problems uh, and they have been put at one place so uh, we'll see here this uh, in channel enhancement type uh, is considered here VGS and v, v threshold then device is on and if it is less than V threshold it is in the cutoff region okay it's very obvious for VGS uh, greater than V threshold two regions of operation existed even when VGS is V threshold that is one is when VDS is less than VGS minus V threshold the device operation in the triode or ohmic region here uh, why it's said to be a triode region because in the case of a vacuum tube triode the current uh, uh, would increase so like current ID here would increase with VDS so it's uh, said to be a triad region or ohmic region and uh, VDS uh, greater than VGS threshold it is in the situation region looks like sometimes called a pentode region so the uh, uh, drain current uh, for this case uh, for the triad region that is ohmic region is mu and cux W over L VGS minus VG V threshold into VDS minus half VDS square so this could be approximated to this also and uh, you can notice here these are uh, some of the constants like mu and cx k and dash is said to be a process transconductance W by L is said to be an aspect ratio related to the channel width and the length and mu and cx to w over l uh, is taken as kn and then it could be simplified in this form now for the situation region uh, the equations are that ids is given by this relation where kn is identified here please note here the value of kn here uh, the relation is uh, having a factor of 1 by 2 in the value of ids Kn is mu and cx w upon 2L. IDS is given by Kn VGS minus and GM could be determined. The value for GM could be determined from mu and cx w upon L VGS minus V threshold. And if the value of VGS and V thresholds are not known, you can determine the value of uh, GM through this relation to IDS. This is the relation to IDS into Kn under root. So these are the 
uh, various uh, equations uh, which are being very common with uh, uh, MOSFETs. Uh, it is observed that uh, not uh, many questions have come uh, in uh, gate uh, previous question papers on uh, uh, MOSFET amplifiers. Most of the problems are uh, based on the uh, MOSFET uh, characteristics like uh, when it's operating in the triode region or rhythmic region, when it's operating in the saturation region or in the cutoff region. So these problems uh, are more related to the characteristics. So these relations uh, are very important and uh, giving solution to those problems. Thank you.